In this problem, I'm supposed to write an inequality showing the restrictions on x. Uh, in this case, you'll see I have what's referred to as an exterior angle. I've extended one of the sides of my rectangle and created this angle on the outside. Uh, it's adjacent to one interior angle. You'll notice these two angles together are supplementary. Um, interestingly, these two angles add up to 180 degrees. Also, this angle and the other two angles in the triangle end up adding up to 180 degrees. Uh, in an interesting relationship, as a result, if this angle plus this angle is 180, and this angle plus these two different angles adds up to 180, that actually means that these two angles have to have the same sum as that 3x minus 18 to be able to have the 180 degree sums with the same interior angle measure right here. Uh, so what we say is that the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the remote interior angles. Uh, in other words, this angle here has the same measure as both of these together. Okay, I can't have a negative angle, so as a result, if this angle is equal to the sum of these two, individually these two angles both have to be smaller than the exterior angle. So the exterior angle is greater than either remote interior angle. That's my important fact. So, if I want to write an inequality, I know that the 3x minus 18 has to be greater than the 30 degrees. Okay? Common sense tells me uh, you know, again, I can't assume anything about whether or not this angle is acute or obtuse or anything like that, but I can continue opening this angle and opening this angle and opening this angle until it goes flat. And that's when that'll cease to be a, a triangle there. Uh, so that means this angle can go all the way up to 180. It can't be 180, but it can be less than that. So technically, if I just need to write an inequality, I'm done. Um, basically, you know, any angle is going to be between 0 and 180, so uh, if you need the value that it needs to be less than 180, if you need a value that's going to be greater than 0, um, but first, use your remote interior angle to get that first boundary, and then you can fill in the other one using a little bit of common sense. Uh, now, to solve this, uh, you can technically do the same thing to all three parts of the inequality. Um, that confuses people a lot, so most teachers will tell you to break this up into two inequalities. Uh, 3x minus 18 is greater than 30, and make sure you have that connecting word there. Both of these things have to be true. 3x minus 18 is less than 180, and you can go through and you can solve this. Um, I don't have to worry about any dividing by a negative or anything like that. Uh, so I know that 3x is greater than 48. You divide both sides by 3, and I find out that x is greater than 16. This is 6 there. And on the other side, I can add 18 to both sides. Okay, I find out that 3x is less than 198. Okay, uh, 198 divided by 3. is 66. And so as a result, I find out that x is less than 66. Now remember, I have to have these two things. x has to be greater than 16 and it has to be less than 66. Normally you write this in what's referred to as compound inequality form. x is less than 66, greater than 16. And that would be my final inequality.